everyone, and welcome back to Youth Worship. Kamusta kayo? Happy ba kayo? Happy ba life natin? Hopefully happy tayo ngayon. Yes, kasi we will be worshiping the Lord together. I'm glad to see you all here today, and I hope that we will be all, we will all be ready to worship the Lord together. Sing praises and listen to God's word today. Let's all open up with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for bringing us here to church today. Thank you for the gift of life and for the opportunity that we can gather together to worship. Learn more about you and have fellowship with one another, with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that you open our hearts and minds throughout this service, that we may be able to truly learn and apply your word in our daily lives. All this we ask in your name, amen. Life often brings a lot of challenges. <clears throat> the Lord doesn't promise an easy life, free from pain when we become Christians. However, what does our theme verse say? Let's all read it together. Philippians 4.4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always, I will say it again, rejoice. We can look forward to Christ Jesus' return with a joyful anticipation because He gives us hope for today and grace to live a holy life in preparation for His second coming. Let's all bless His name. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Let's all stand up as we sing. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glory. Blessed be your name When the sun's shining down on me When the world's all as it should be Blessed be your name Blessed be your name On the road marked with suffering Though there's pain in the offering Blessed be your name. Every blessing. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed you be give the and take away. You give and take away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your glorious name. I believe in Christ. I believe in Christ, risen from the dead. He now reigns victorious, his kingdom knows no end. Through his resurrection, death has lost its hold. I know on that final day, your eyes as Jesus rose. That day. On that day, we will see you shining brighter than the sun. On that day, we will know you as we lift our voice as one. Till that day, we will praise you for your never-ending grace. And we will keep on singing on that glorious day. What a blessed hope. What a blessed hope. Though now tired and worn, we will spend eternity around our Savior's throne. Though we grieve our losses, we grieve not in vain, for we know our crown of glory waits beyond the grave. On that day, we will see you shining brighter than the sun. On that day, we will know you as we lift our voice as one. Till that day, we will praise you for your never Praise you for your name. 
shadows. In the shadows you are with me and you know my everything. In the shadows none can harm me for the mighty King is here. All this day your hand has held me. God of I find my rest in Jesus. So I find my rest in Jesus. He who came to rest in me. Jesus save me from the darkness. I will rise to life in thee. All this day your Trust in Jesus. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise and to know the sake the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust. to trust you. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. Because indeed, Lord, you're a God, you're a heavenly Father who holds us through every season of our life. And Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you've given us the grace, Lord, to trust you. You've given us the grace, Lord, to be holy. And Lord, we thank you. Lord, we pray for all of us, Lord, who are here. Lord, we thank you. Most of them, Lord, bakashodna. Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, thank you how you've seen them throughout the school year lord we pray that you continue to sustain them help them lord to have a meaningful vacation for others lord one week long and then they'll have another 
um, their class again next week. Lord, we pray that you continue to allow them to experience your grace in their lives. Lord, we pray for all of us. Lord, you know our needs. Lord, you know the challenges we are having right now. Lord, you entrust all of this into your hands. Lord, we thank you. Lord, just what the song says. Lord, you've always been there. Lord, to hold us and to be with us and to carry our burdens. And Lord, we thank you. Lord, as we worship you, Lord, through your word, Lord, we pray that you speak to us. Whatever things, Lord, that are hindering us from really um, focusing on you, Lord, we pray that you help all of us, Lord, to take this out. And Lord, we thank you also, Lord, later on, uh, many will be graduating. Lord, we thank you also, Lord, for how you've seen them through Lord, your elementary, high school lives. And Lord, we thank you for all of this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, please be seated. First, congratulations for all those who will be graduating and those who graduated na. Ayan. And those who finished the school year, congratulations. Sige, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, sa likod niyo, congratulations. Ayan. Ah, sige, question. Ah, let's look at this, this, ano. Ayan, kanina, actually, nakita na, may tip na. What are the two words in the logo? Sige, what are the two words in the logo? Sino maka-answer? Raise your hand. Ala. I will ask. Sino, you know, what's... Uh, let's ask the, 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 the teachers doon sa likod. Ano yung two words na nandyan? Ahya tayo, ikaw pumili. Sa tingin ko, si Ahya Sami, pinaka good memory. Ahya Sami, what are the two words? Faith and joy. Buti na lang, I chose the right person. Faith and joy. Ayan, I have some, you have a prize. Nakalimutan ko lang dalhin. Faith and joy. So last time, we've talked about this book of what? Anong book? Sa tingin ko, Lawrence, ma-remember mo. Begins with the letter P. Philippians. Philippians. Magaling din si Lawrence. Philippians. And in Philippians, we said, ano yung focus ng Philippians? Na wala naman. Asa na yung logo? Diba? The joy. Yun yung focus. Diba? We sing that in CYF. Lagi natin yung kinakanta. Rejoice in the Lord always. We are to be joyful. As again, I will speak slowly. We are to be joyful. Diba? Faith and joy. Now we are done with the series on Philippians. We've learned that, you know, we remind ourselves in whatever circumstances, I have to be joyful. Uh, let's read the verse together. One, two, three, go. Can you sing it together? Peter, ikaw maglid. Nasaan na si Peter? Peter, lead mo daw yan. One, two, three, go. Sabi ko si Peter maglid. Ibig sabihin pag maglid, you will sing. One, two, three, go. Okay, alam mo, parang sad kayo. Rejoice in the Lord always. You don't, dapat diba pag singer, you sing, you, you internalize the song. Rejoice in the Lord always. But, you know, the Bible says rejoicing is actually in the heart. So, hopefully even though ganyan kayo, in your heart, you know, you are rejoicing, you are joyful. Now we start with the series on Thessalonians. Okay, Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. Finish na tayo sa Philippians. Now we are doing the series on 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. 1st and 2nd Thessalonians teach us the other word, to focus on the other word, which is faith. We are to be faithful in our Christian walk. 
And this is what First and Second Thessalonians will tell us to remind us. Philippians, be joyful. First and Second Thessalonians, be faithful. No matter what happens, be faithful. Who's the author of Philippians? Paul. Same thing, Thessalonians, the author of Thessalonians is also Paul. Okay? The recipients is the believers in Philippi for Philippians. For Thessalonians, the believers in the city of Thessalonica. Okay, so they're called Thessalonians. They're people in the city of Thessalonica. So how did Paul start the church? Okay, so Paul founded the church in Thessalonica together with his co-workers, Silas and Timothy. So after Philippi, they went to Thessalonica. Okay, di ba sa Philippi, remember na, na imprisoned, Paul was imprisoned and nakaltak, nalumabas sila. Diba? And the jailer, diba? there was an earthquake, and the jailer um, became a Christian as a result. There was an earthquake, but si Paul, hindi sila tumakas. Diba? They were there. And the jailer became a Christian. That was what happened in Philippi. When they were in Thessalonica, Paul was in, synag in the synagogue for three consecutive Sabbath. Okay, so Paul was sharing the synagogue is a place of worship for the Jews. So during that time in Thessalonica, Paul was there for three Sabbath, sharing, telling them that Jesus is the Messiah. So God had, you know, allowed them to really minister to the people and it was a fruitful one. There were Jews who believed, there were also people who were non-Jews who believe in Jesus as the Messiah. And there were also important women, okay, who believe in Jesus Christ. You know, Thessalonica, ano yan, a very progressive city. So, a very progressive city. So there were people there who believe in Jesus. But together with that, there were other Jews who were jealous about Paul. So what they did was, they started to ask people, halika, Let's try to, to do a magrayo tayo, okay? So that they will be able to endanger Paul. Okay, so that was what they did. And they also went to a person's house. They were looking for Paul. They went to a person's house named Jason. See, Jason Innocentia, okay? But they went to their house trying to look for Paul. Eh, wala si Paul doon. So what they did was bring Jason to the court. But Jason, of course, was innocent. He was nagbayad pa siya in order makalabas siya but hindi nila nakita si Paul so the Christians there in Thessalonica felt that you know it was not anymore a safe place for Paul so they asked Paul to leave Thessalonica so short time lang si Paul there okay in Thessalonica so that was how Paul Silas Timothy founded the church in Thessalonica and it was time that you know, Paul was asked, was already saying, Paano na? Kumusta na yung mga Christians there in Thessalonica? So Timothy went to Thessalonica, and when Timothy went back and met Paul in Corinth, or during that time, nasa Corinth na sila. And then Timothy said, you know, Paul, even amidst all the persecutions, thank God the Thessalonian Christians were still there thriving. You know, Thessalonica is a place where they worship Greek gods, Roman gods, lahat ng gods. So it was difficult for them to be believers. So those people who were believers were persecuted. But the Christians in Thessalonica stood firm. They stood firm. And then Timothy said, you know, Paul, they also miss you naman. Okay? Paul wanted to go, but hindi pa siya nakapunta. So, Paul said, instead of visiting, I'd write a letter to the Thessalonians. So, that was the reason Paul wrote 1 Thessalonians. And then afterwards, he also wrote a second letter, 2 Thessalonians. Kaya, two yan. The first letter and the second letter. Okay? Question. Di ba sabi natin, faith and joy ang two words na nandyan. There are words written around the black circle aside from DEC youth. Ano yan? What are the words written there? 
you know, Friday, every Friday, pinapakita yun sa CYF. Sa youth worship, pinapakita rin yan. Who can remember the words? Ma-remember niyo? Pwede, 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 ano, pwede, t- pwede, coach, coach. Julia, ma-remember mo? Awaiting the return of G- Okay! Tama ba yung sinabi ko? Yun yung sinabi mo rin. Kahit hindi, tama na rin. Okay! Ayan, I'll give you a prize din. Okay, awaiting the return of Jesus. So that there are these are the words written there around the circle aside from the ECU. Awaiting the return of Jesus. Basically, first and second Thessalonians the main the main theme of first and second Thessalonians is the return of Jesus. The return of Jesus. And Paul is saying, as you await the return of Jesus, what are you to do? Okay? Await is not just be passive. Okay, await is really you expect, wow, my Jesus will be returning. I hope all of us are excited about it. Ako, excited ako. Wow, parang, I like the verse, Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that will be the day that, wow, all people will just acknowledge, wow, Jesus Christ is Lord. And that is first what First and Second Thessalonians is telling us, that we are to await the return of Jesus. And ano ang mga truth about the return of Jesus? Because during that time, there were people who say, Ah, oh, when the return of the second coming of Christ, it will be this way, that way, ganyan, ganyan. And Paul in First and Second Thessalonians will tell us, Ano ba talaga ang coming of Jesus Christ? Okay, but we will not talk about this in depth this morning. Okay, we'll just get a glimpse of what it is. And the return of Jesus Christ. So when you look at this, when First Thessalonians only have five chapters, but in all of these chapters, we see that Paul talks about the return of Jesus Christ. Let's look through the chapters. Usually, sa ending part yan. okay? Sa ending part. Ah, okay. Sige. Uh, let's read it together. Let's stand up and read it together. As you read, try to see what are some truth that the verses are telling us about the second coming of Christ. One, two, three, go. They tell how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, Jesus who rescues us from the coming wrath. Okay, wait, let's go back first. Ayan, so who will be coming back? It's Jesus Christ, okay, God's Son. Next. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when He comes? Okay, this is written in chapter 2, 1 Thessalonians 2, 19. Again, it talks about, you know, Jesus Christ coming here. Next, 1 Thessalonians 3, 13. May he strengthen your heart so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and the and Father when our Lord Jesus comes Again, with all his holy ones. When our Lord Jesus Christ comes. Okay, next. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. This is in chapter 4. And then in last chapter, chapter 5, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, be seated. Actually, this chapter 5, let's go back to the, uh, the previous two verses. Chapter 3, uh, yeah, this one, chapter 3 and chapter 5, are actually prayers of Paul. So in all of the chapters, sa last, Paul was talking about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the theme, the main theme of First and Second Thessalonians. So during that time, you know, Paul was, was the, there were Christians who were saying, Paano na? You know, there were people who already died. There were people who already died. Hindi pa dumadating si Jesus Christ. So what will happen to them? You know, Paul was telling us, 
for those who are believers, those who are in Christ Jesus, we have this hope. Because let's look at Matthew, okay? Let's read Matthew chapter 24, 42 to 44. So you, you too, too must, must keep watch, watch, for you don't know what day, day your Lord is. is coming. Understand this. If a homeowner knew exactly when a burglar was coming, he would keep watch and not permit his house to be broken into. You also must be what? Ready all the time. Sino ang coming? For the Son of Man will come when least expected. So Jesus Christ was telling them before, the Son of Man will be coming at a time that you least expect, but all of us are to be what? To be ready all the time. We don't know when Jesus Christ will be coming, but we are to be ready. And how are we to be ready? Okay, two things this morning. How are we to be ready? First, we are to realize that believers are what? Are to live in hope. We are to live in hope, so we are to trust God. For believers, we have this hope. Okay, because we have this hope because we already have Jesus Christ. So as I said a while ago, Paul was telling the Christian, the Thessalonian believers about the second coming of Jesus Christ. And sabi niya, for those who are in Christ Jesus, you have hope. Let's read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. Okay. Do we, are we believers should not grieve as those people who have no hope? Okay, because during that time, the Thessalonian believers were asking, Paano na yung mga Christians na namatay? And Paul was saying, hey, live with hope. Okay, live with hope. They are just, sila yung ti people na who are falling asleep. They are not really dead, they are falling asleep. Why? Because for believers, there's actually no death in Christ Jesus. Physical death meron, but then we are resurrected and reunited with God. It's not really a, a goodbye, but it's until till we meet again. For believers, we will be meeting again there with God. And First Thessalonians 5, 9 to 10 tells us, For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with Him. So whether we are awake or asleep, whether we are here living or we are already dead, we are living with who? With Christ. We are no, for God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but we are to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. So for those who already have Jesus Christ, thank God. We are forever living with Jesus Christ because He died for us. The question is, paano na for those people who do not believe in Jesus Christ? This is a very serious question and a serious reality and truth that we need to really be faced with. What happens to your friends, to your relatives who do not know Jesus Christ? The verse is very clear. They will suffer wrath. Wrath is the extreme anger of God. Extreme anger that in the end, those who didn't, do not believe in Jesus Christ will forever suffer in hell. And we don't like that. And I hope all of us who are here can confidently say, you know, I have this hope in Christ Jesus. I will forever live with Him. Okay, these are some of the questions we need to ask ourselves. Do you have this hope? As I've shared before, our prayer is that hopefully you're not here every week, you're in CYF every week, but in the end, you say, I don't have that hope. I think it's a sad thing to know that. Do you have this hope? We can only have this hope in Christ Jesus as we hope for the second coming of Jesus Christ, that we will forever live with him because we have Christ Jesus. 
Are you sure that you'll be eternally with Christ Jesus? How about your friends? Lagi mong katabi kumain sa kantin, parkada mo, your relatives, your parents, your angkong ama. I hope that we think about it. And really, God, you pray and tell God, God, you help me. Help me share the gospel with them. I don't want them to forever suffer wrath. To forever suffer your wrath. I want them to have hope. What enables us to have hope? It is basically what Christ did on the cross that gives us this hope. You know, as I said a while ago, the Thessalonian Christians were very persecuted. Okay, it was not easy for them to be believers. Tayo, it's easy for us. Pag nasa Davao Christian High School ka nag it's so easy. You know, pag Christian ka, hindi ka pinagtatawanan. You know, people don't laugh at you. You know, you're not persecuted. But there in Thessalonian, when they became Christians, they were persecuted, but they were willing to follow God. Why? Because they were saying, this is just temporary. What I'm looking for is that hope that I will be forever with Christ, and that will be eternal. So the second coming of God should remind us, how do we prepare? First, we live with hope. We trust God who made the promise that Jesus Christ will return, and we look forward to that. I don't know whether tayo will be able to experience the second coming of Christ. Baka nauna na tayo na matay, we don't experience that. But whether we experience it or not, the important question is when we are there, will we, the question is, will we be able to say, I will live eternally with God, with Christ? That's the question we need to answer. So Paul not only describes the hope of the coming day of the Lord, he also asked the Thessalonians to be holy. To be holy and to please God. Okay, ang theme verse natin was the prayer a while ago. It's 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Let's read it together again. Hopefully, pag December, ma-memorize natin yan. Okay? May God Himself, who is God, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what's so beautiful about the Bible is God tells us you are to live holy lives. But together with it, He is there with us. God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you. Okay, the God of peace, God is there to help us be holy. Sanctify means also be holy, that we are to be holy. And God wants us to be holy, and He helps us to be holy. So these are some of the things that are written in 1st, 2nd Thessalonians, that Paul tells us be holy by living these lives. First, exhibit faith, hope, and love. Okay? As we read it, try to think. Kumusta ako sa faith ko, sa love, sa hope ko in my life? Rejoice always. Can you say starting January when we started Philippians, can you say are you more joyful? Mas hindi ka na nagko-complain. Sa Thessalonians, inulit na naman. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all things. Do not be idle. Okay, in First and Second Thessalonians, nidi repeat ni Paul, do not be idle, because there were people who say, Allah, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hindi na ako mag-work, dito na lang ako. Parang probably ngayon, ah, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hindi na ako mag-study ng RK, hindi na ako mag-study ng MedTech. Dito na lang ako, I will just wait for Jesus coming. There were people who were there, like ganyan. Wait na lang sila, we will wait. And so they became idle, and Paul was telling them, hey, we are, as we wait, we are not to be idle, but we are to work. Okay, we are to work. Ayan, do not be idle. Ito, avoid sexual immorality. You know, this is really a challenge for all of us. When you look at, you're looking news, so in, so, so net, 
whatever you are pinapanood at binabasa nyo, what will lalabas? How to have ganyan? A very good sex life. How to have ganyan? You know, and people will just sexy, sexy women, lalabas lang yan. What do you do? It's so difficult, especially at your time now. So we are to remind ourselves, be holy, be holy. Avoid sexual immorality. Okay, this is also one of the topics in Thessalonians. Refuse to take advantage of others. Okay. Appreciate those Christians who serve on your behalf. Refuse to repay evil for evil. This is such a sum of the list in First Thessalonians. So later on, I'll give you more time to talk about this in your group. In your group. So we'll spend more time to thinking, how can I be holy? How can I live holy lives? And how can my friends help me? You know, when you look at First Thessalonians, uh, when you look at First Thessalonians a while ago, sabi, sabi ko maraming, the Lord is coming. In Second Thessalonians, even in three chapters, you know, 13 times, the word Lord Jesus occur. Lord Jesus, ang tawag ni Paul kay Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And it said that among the letters of Paul, Okay, the Lord Jesus occurred most of the time in 2 Thessalonians, just three chapters. Why? Because Paul is reminding us, Christians, Christians, Jesus Christ is not just your Savior, He is your Lord. And as your Lord, what should be our response? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will obey you, Lord, because you are Lord. And living holy lives is one of the ways that God wants us to really tell him, yes, Lord, you are my Lord. So it's always a temptation. It's not easy. We know. Alam ko, Ati Jot, sabi sa Bible, hindi ako pwede mag-cheat. Alam ko, pag may ganyang lumabas, dapat out ka agad. Hindi ko tignan, no second look. It's so difficult. Because the world tells us, wow, this also is so pleasurable. And talaga naman, may pleasure. But the pleasure is only temporary. What we are to put in mind is, what is eternal? And that is the most important. That's the reason why we are here. That's the reason why we have Bible study. It's because it helps us. Pagka medyo nagmali na, someone will tell you, this is the right way. Choose this. So hopefully we'll be able to help one another walk the Christian path. Hindi pa tayo yung same group tayo sa CYF, Christians tayo, tayo pa nagsasabi, Christian, Christian ka, bakit ka ganyan? Diba, hindi tayo yung nagpuput down on people, but we are the ones who encourage people, let's live the Christian life together. Let's be holy together. Let's be holy together. So how can we help one another to be holy? Basically, it's really being accountable to one another. Pray for one another. And talaga, very important na hindi natin ginagawa. Read the Bible. Meditate on God's word. That's the basic. You don't, you, hindi ka marunong mag-read hanggang hindi mo alam ang abak. The same thing. If we don't really read our Bible, many times we will not, we will not, will not be able to make right choices. But the more we are rooted in God's word, the more we'll be able to make right choices. So I encourage you to be able to do that. So two things this morning. First, what? How are we to prepare as we await, we expect the Lord's coming? What are we to do? First, live with hope. Trust God. God, I trust you. I trust you with all of my life. I trust that you'll be coming again, that Jesus will be coming again. Second, be holy. Please, God. You know, it's so sad that, you know, a lot of us, sino maglapit mag-18th birthday o nag-18th birthday dito? 
Di ba, before pandemic, you know, we, we plan, 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 to suddenly pandemic, hindi natuloy. Ngayon, hindi na pandemic. Pwede na tayo mag-plan ng mga 18th birthday, and in the future, five years from now, baka hindi ka na miss Lim, hindi ka na miss, hindi ka na miss Tan. You are Mrs. You'll be soon Mrs. Something. Mrs. Someone, hindi something. Mrs. Someone. Di ba? And sometimes you plan a lot of things. Sa panahon ngayon, you plan about how to propose. You plan about, people plan about gender reveal. Hindi ako buntis. Gender reveal. Di ba? We plan about, wow, paano ako mag-18th birthday? Paano, um, yung... I will get married. We plan ahead for so, so for all of this. And we spend a lot of money for all of this. But I hope this is just a one-day thing. The boo one-day thing. I'm not saying they're not, these are not important. These are memories. But I hope more than planning for your 18th birthday, more than planning for your wedding in the future, mga lalaki, more than planning for your how you will you propose, diba? Let's plan for what is eternal. Plan for the second coming of Jesus Christ. And how do we plan? Live with hope, be holy. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you because you're a God who keeps our promises. And Lord, you know that when you say you'll come again, Jesus Christ will be coming again. And we look forward to that day. We look forward to that day when there will be no more problems here, no more sicknesses, no more sins, just people bowing down to you and acknowledging that you are Lord. Lord, help us. Lord, even hindi pa man second coming, even as we live here on earth, Lord, you help us live our lives in such a way that it will show people that you are Lord of our lives. Lord, you help us. Help us be holy. We know it's difficult. Lord, you help all of us choose to be holy for you. Lord, we pray that you help us to live with hope knowing, Lord, that we have hope in Christ Jesus. And we are to live knowing, Lord, that you will be coming again and you will bring us to you. And we look forward to that day. Lord, thank you, thank you, because, Lord, even in all of this, you are with us. And, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As a song of response, let's all sing on that day. I believe in Christ. I believe in Christ, risen from the dead. He now reigns victorious, his kingdom knows no end. Through his resurrection, death has lost its hold. I know on that final day I'll rise as Jesus rose. So on that day, on, on that day, we will see you shining brighter than the sun. Blessed hope, though now tired and warm. What a blessed. 
CYF registration will be linked and be sent to your group chats. So register now <laughs> before the time ends. Next worksheet. Uh, let's call on our pogging ayatai. Anong napasok siya? Bakit kami ka? Thank you, Peter. Okay. Say good morning, everyone. Okay. So you see there what you can we read it together? One, two, three, go. Workshop. Mahirap pa sabihin. One, two, three. One more time. One, three, go. All right. So it's worship because it is a workshop on worship music. So there were already a lot of people who uh, came up to me and told me that they're interested. So hurry before June 30. June 30 is a deadline for the registration. So this is a workshop on worship music. So what will we teach you? Primarily, we will be teaching you the role of music, worship music in a Christian's walk with the Lord. All right? And then we will be teaching you skills on the guitar, piano, or keyboard, drums, bass, and we will also be teaching you voice. So we have some of the best teachers, music teachers in Davao. I assure you that. So, and this is very cheap. Actually, it's only, only 1,800 pesos for 15 sessions in total. This will be on July 3 to 7 every morning. And then as we uh, also learn uh, skills, we will also be studying God's Word together. And may free pa tayo na snacks. So, di ba? Kompleto. So, we all, we want this to be a very pleasant uh, experience for you and for you to take away something from this, really. And more than just learning about, you know, how to play the guitar and instruments, things like that. Primarily, we want you to be able to worship the Lord through music. So, if you're interested, come up to me or to Ati Day Day or to any of the pastoral staff. Okay? So, pray about it. And then, if you're interested, basta, if there's something in you that parang gusto ko sumali, I want to be able to join, come up to us. Alright? Sige. Let's pray for the Unreached People group na Maranao. Okay. So, the Maranao is a term used for the inhabitants of Lanao. Do you know where Lanao is? Sounds like Mindanao, right? So, it's in Mindanao. All right, a predominantly Muslim region on the Isle oh, sabi ko na nga ba eh, Mindanao. The word Maranao means people of the lake. Okay, the people are famous for their artwork, sophisticated weaving, wood and metal craft, and epic literature. Small communities of Maranaos, mostly traders, live in all major towns of the Philippines. They are the descendants of the Muslim Malays. How are we going to pray for them? So, Two prayer points. Pray for the Maranao believers to become effective and fruitful in sowing God's word among their families. So, meron ng 
Maranao believers. And kahit na Muslim, the, uh, the gospel of Christ was able to penetrate in their community. So, work ni God yan. So, let's pray for these believers because it's not going to be easy for them as believers of Jesus in their community. Next, pray for the Holy Spirit to empower them to fuel a movement of God's blessings spreading from household to household. So, we ask the Holy Spirit to do mighty works in the hearts of these believers and even, you know, cause people to ask about Jesus, you know, to have that some people even dream about Jesus because of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit to do the, its work. And so as we um, pray for these things on your own, after that, I shall close us in prayer and then we shall go to our uh, groups. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for reminding us once again of our blessed hope, and that is that one day we shall see you, we shall be reunited with you, and life as how you created and designed it will be restored to its original glory. Thank you, Lord, because even if we struggle today, you will give us the hope and the grace to continue to live a holy life and to continue to trust you in all the trials and challenges that we face today. Lord, we thank you because in our place, we are so free to worship you, to listen to your word, and to even study your Bible in our own time, in our own rooms. But many people do not have that freedom. And one of them, Lord, are the people of the Maranaos. We pray, Lord, that all those who are already believers in this community, that you empower them, encourage them, protect them, Lord, from the work of the enemy. We pray, Lord, that they will be able to live lives that are so infectious, that their faith will be so infectious to the people around them, but that these people can't help but want to follow Jesus as well. We pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to work uh, his deeds in amongst the people that he will cause the hearts of the people to hunger for more of you to question the tradition or the muslim beliefs that they have already been taught at a young age that they will cause to think that surely there is more surely there is a hope surely there is a grace for us we pray lord for our gathering today as we have our small groups we pray that we'll be able to reflect on the questions that were asked us so that we may be able to internalize the message make it our own and to bring it home with us we thank you lord once again for how you have guided all throughout the, uh, guided us all throughout this service thank you lord for empowering everyone and thank you lord for your goodness once again and thank you again for those um, who are celebrating their graduation today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So we welcome also the newcomers who are with us. So, um, Ati Day Day, go to Ati Day Day and tell her your grade level. Thank you, Ati Day. Gulatan, no? And thank you so much, everyone. You may now go to your groups. Pero ang pinaka-pogi talaga si Peter. Right? Palakpakan natin si Peter. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ati Jute.